Hi there, welcome to Advices Media and here we have the Samsung Galaxy S4. In this video we are going to discuss about the heating issues which we have been hearing recently from a lot of Samsung Galaxy S4 users. So in order to prove that this device is actually heating up or not, we are going to do a quick temperature check onto the same. So from the past few minutes I have been playing a game that's the GTA 3 and also access the web for a few minutes and now I'm going to show you the actual temperature which is on this device let me just show you the recently played application which is still also running in the background so as you can see the game is still running in the background which means that the device should actually get up uh, heated a lot and the time clearly shows here that it's the game is on from the past 8 minutes so that can give you a quick clear idea now let me just do a quick temperature check as of now I feel that the screen around this area is quite heated up and it's not pleasant to play the game with the controllers being on the screen here because the thumb would feel the warm temperature around this area while you may really need these kind of options here hence you wouldn't be finding any issues but again this area is also again cold and apart from that when you hold the phone this way while playing the games you would feel that the area around this uh, camera is actually heated up a lot while the bottom is decent enough so let me just do a quick temperature check and then show you the actual results so here we go so here we have a temperature monitor using which we are going to do a quick check so once I move around the screen as you can see it's around 40 degrees around the bottom area but while you move around the top it's around 45 moving around the front camera it's 46 this is around 46 degrees to the max in the front and on the back near the back camera area you can find it's 45.5 44 43 so this clearly shows that the device does get heated up but it's not up to the level wherein we had the same issues with the Sony Xperia Z as you can find the video in the description we had clearly mentioned that the LG Optimus G and the Sony Xperia Z or the LG Nexus 4 had very high temperature issues while this device also has issues but there is one thing which you need to make a note that this is mainly because uh, the kind of application which I am using on this device while on the Sony Xperia Z while I was testing that I was just browsing and still the temperature was going high so there is this uh, heating issues which is not uh, pretty normal which is uh, very rarely possible because the temperatures which we have just seen are pretty normal so this clearly means that if you feel that your device is going very high maybe in the range of around 50 plus or 55 degrees then you need to actually show it to the service center now talking about the ways how you can reduce this temperature is that you need to ensure that if you are not using the Wi-Fi or the mobile data connectivity then you actually need to disable that because this would ensure that the internet is not continuously connected and the applications related to that also would not continuously try to access the web apart from that if you are not using the GPS disable that and then you have an option to also disable all the air gesture features and everything as such if you are not actually going to use them regularly now since I am going to use the bluetooth feature because I am using it with the pebble watch there is no way I would disable that but apart from that what all services you feel that you are not going to use in a regular usage then you shouldn't be enabling them so this was a quick video on the samsung galaxy s 4s heating issues stay tuned on advices media for more videos thank you